Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna be checking out this Epo Maker TH80 SE series. This is gonna be a dope keyboard that goes for $99 as of making this video. So firstly, design aesthetics. This thing looks mean in this black and gray color profile and I'm digging the aggressiveness of it. And you can see here that it is gonna be a 75% layout keyboard with 81 keys total. This is a hot swapped gasket design, which means you can swap the keycaps along with the key switches themselves. So if you're into keyboard customization, this thing's going to be perfect. However, I will say this thing is really nice out of the box. Now, in terms of connectivity, you are able to connect uh, through a few different ways. The ways to connect are going to be as follows over here, 2.4 gigahertz, which means by using the dongle that's conveniently placed here, you can just take this thing out it's a little tough in there but that's the first method by using this dongle here and then the next option is going to be by using a usb cable which comes included right here so if you want to use wired mode this is going to be your option here and it's a nice braided cable now if we actually remove one of the keycaps here if this comes with this keycap remover tool you can see that these are going to be PBT shot keycaps, which is pretty much the highest quality of keycaps that you can get. It's not some cheap Garbo material. Now, in terms of the key switches themselves, you can see that these are using uh, more pink color. As you can see there, this is what they call their flamingo color. They're not reds, but they're pretty much the same thing as reds. They're just branding it as themselves. Maybe there's a slight difference. So it's going to be a linear typing experience. That's going to be very subtle and good for office environments or just places where you need to be more quiet. And then there are going to be RGB lights that can be used here. You can start to see what the RGB lights look like. And if you want to change between the patterns, you just hold function and then the backslash button. And you can see we're kind of mixing up the patterns, the styles, and some of them are like click based. Some of them are just kind of pulsing, waving patterns. So you really have options there. If you want to change speed of them, that's just a uh, le function left, right, and that'll adjust the speed. And then brightness is function up, down. So if you really want something dim, function down, function up, the whichever one you prefer. Now the keyboard does have a 4000 battery MAH, which is not exactly the best battery life if you're planning to use this thing wirelessly via Bluetooth or the dongle. So if you find yourself not charging the keyboard like every week or so, then your keyboard will most likely be dying on a weekly basis. So if that's an issue for you, you can always use it via the wire, which is from USB-A to USB-C. Now here's a click test for y'all to see what this thing actually sounds like. And then here's what the knob sounds like. Has a little click to it, and then you can also kind of rotate it. Now the TH80 SE is going to be a very flexible keyboard. You're going to be able to use it with Windows or Mac. And as I mentioned earlier in this video, there's going to be a little switch right on the back here, and it shows whether you're a Mac user or Windows, and that's just going to adjust the keyboard to function on uh, depending what OS you're using. So overall, this is going to be a very solid keyboard for anyone that's interested in something that's really nice out of the box. And if you are someone who likes to mod keyboards, it's also very customizable. So if you're um, a key mechanical keyboard enthusiast, I would say the Epo Maker TH80 SE is going to be a good starting point. You get a really high quality build, you have the modularity, and then you also have Mac settings, uh, window settings, you can connect uh, Bluetooth devices here and connect uh, USB dongles. A lot, a lot of features going on here. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button. And if you want to see more content like in this future, be sure to click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.